The final destination on my 12-day tour of France was somewhere I've wanted to visit for years. I'd seen it originally on the Channel 4 programme Place in the Sun and people were always buying and restoring tiny little fishing houses. So we parked up at the air at saint valery sur somme We got the bikes off the back of the van and we headed down into the town. and out in today check that French chic out um, we have driven our longest journey yet it was about 11 minutes and we have arrived at an air called Caille sur Mer I'll have to put the actual location because it's got um, <clears throat> it's got another location but it's about a three kilometer bike ride but look at those sand dunes and we are right next to a campsite, uh, Camping La Galette de la Merlière. Uh, there's recycling, there's plenty of space, I mean plenty. Um, and we've just paid 10 euros for the night and uh, you can use the showers at the campsite as well. So the difference between stopping at the campsite is um, there is Le Piscine. So, be interested to know if there's a restaurant actually that'll be really good for this evening because I don't want to cook
should have packed my swimming costume. I could have had a swim. It's definitely very different to the waves the other day anyway. Oh yeah, on the balcony. Mm -hmm. And there's loads of bars and cafes and restaurants, but just all closed. Well, it, it is the 3rd of October, it's winter. I know. Evening. Uh, we're just gonna go out for dinner. Uh, there's a brasserie. I don't know what the menu looks like. Uh, we've already been told not to bother with the pizzas because apparently they are pre-made bases, <laughs> biscuity, which is not for me. I'll do a full um, review of the campsite tomorrow, uh, but let's see. That is lovely. It is the toilet block. And the outside swimming pool's closed, isn't it? It's just the indoor swimming pool that's open now. Because of the time of year. Some of the cleanest shower blocks and toilets I've ever seen. So I'll just come around to the outside pool area now. It looks as spectacular as it did last night. Uh, the outside pool's closed, but I'm going to go over there to the inside pool. Okay, now I'm going to the outs indoor pool. Epic fail. I tried to get in through the outdoor pool and actually take this little side path. see the brasserie last night where we went, the kids club. Our pitch actually, just to give you an idea, is just behind that, uh, there's two hedges there and we're, we're just behind that. So it's literally a two minute walk. Again, really clean um, changing area as well. Lockers, uh, which don't need money. Just they each have a key in. just see the fort, although you probably can't see it on video. It's that little black dot, very right. Just got back from La Crotcher, um, our little bike ride, which was really nice actually. It was, uh, we'd intentionally, we'd intended on going in to get some lunch. Um, but it appears that France doesn't only just close on a Sunday, 
but it also closes up for the entire of August, um, which the happy travellers told us. Um, thanks, Peg. Uh, France also shuts the first week of October, or at least it does around here in the northern France first, a festival called October Rose. So um, there's lots of restaurants closed, Monday, Tuesday, opening, Wednesday, lunchtime. So needless to say, we haven't had lunch. We've biked the 3K there and back. Well, 3K there, 3K back. We've walked three kilometers around the town, uh, gone to the boulangerie, but there was lots of quiche and uh, bread, which I wanted to avoid because it, it gives me the indigestion. Uh, and we're back at the motorhome on the campsite on our pitch um, and um, I've thrown something in the air fryer. I'm just going to do a quick tour of some of the pictures so as you can see we are here on pitch number 171. Now ours is a seven and a half meter in fact 7.2 sorry 7.2 and you can see we are just we've just got enough room at the back we could get the awning out it's a nice tidy size uh, there are bigger sizes, so you've got 170 here, <clears throat> similar size, so probably seven and a half limit. Um, up in the corner, you've got 166, 167, 168. Uh, they're all closed off at the minute, but they are small camping pitches. 172, bigger pitch, uh, you could fit an A class on there. Uh, the same with 173, and this pitch here which is pitch number 174, actually when we arrived on Monday had an A-class and um, a camping van, literally a, a camper van, um, but some nice size pitches, 175, nice size pitch, you could probably fit an 8 metre on there. So although it does say air to services that way, I think that's water drop off, uh, where the shower block is, if you just come round. Um, You've got the Bounty Castle, which we showed you the other day. Picnic tables, we've got a ping pong and a washing up area. And an absent point. So. <clears throat> uh, the recycling point and the rubbish is near reception. So you can see how close everything is. That's the brasserie again, the indoor pool. There's another great pitch, pitch 19. That's actually got a barbecue at the back. And it looks like they, it looks like they do have a table of entertainment during the summer. <laughs> oh, actually. 6th of October and the 9th of October could have had off some aqua fun. I'll just introduce you to the security guard uh, doing his job. Handsome boy. That's it, tunnel home. Um, we're just going to chill out for a little bit now. Well, I doubt John will, but hey ho. <laughs> I've got some Married at First Sight to catch up on, and it's another half an hour before we set off. <laughs>